Hey, what's up, guys? Jason here. Just doing an update. Uh, I think it's like 84 days today without Crano. And, and I just want to, having some more realizations on things, right? Um, just want to put them out there. Um, you know, like, just uh, not relying on something to control my emotions, like Crano. Um, you know, and of course, Percocets, even smoking weed, you know, just living in complete sobriety now, it's like, um, I'm actually starting to see, you know, these areas of my brain become activated, um, like a broader perception on ability to like see further out, you know, on why I, I do things, right? Um. Like, for example, like doing martial arts at the gym, like a big reason why I quit martial arts uh, was, you know, I was I, I was on Percocet and Suboxone and then Kratom and then like I, was, I became so instant gratification focused that I'd be like, why, why should I go to class today? I'm really not going to learn that much. You know, in one class, what's the big deal if I just miss one class, you know, and then one class turns into three classes, turns into five classes, turns into, um, yeah, I'll just cancel my membership. And I canceled my membership at doing martial arts. I was there for over three years and I canceled it for over one year, you know, and I know it's because I got hooked on Percocets, I got hooked on opiates. And I just lost that. I lost those natural desires, those natural passions, those natural interests that we have, that we get enjoyment out of life. Like, through being on all those drugs, like the opiates, like, I became so dull. And it's like I, I was living in a, an alternative reality, right? Where, like, those things that make sense in, in a normal, sober functioning mind just don't click and register in, you know, a mind that's always on opiates or always seeking to instant gratif instantly gratify ourselves, you know? So it's like, now I see the, like, the importance in the small things. Like, I'm, I'm actually starting to slowly become more disciplined and, like, staying more organized, um, staying a little bit more clean. You know, I got a lot more work to do in those areas, but I'm starting to see consistency um, that I haven't seen before in, in the ability of like, just being disciplined in, in other small areas where like, I just look out in the future like, oh yeah, well, I, this, this needs to get done. Uh, you know, I don't really think much to it, right? I just know like, yeah, if I don't do this, then you know, it's really not going to make me feel good, you know, whatever. It's like, I, I don't know, it's it's just really cool to, like, get those areas in my mind functioning back again. Things like, to be honest, like, I, uh, it's crazy. Like, I honestly thought, like, I just didn't like doing martial arts anymore. But the fact was, I'd rather, like, be at home and get high or just chill and take Kratom and, and and try to just make myself feel good instead of like doing good and earning, you know, those natural, you know, highs of life. And another thing too is like, I heard, I don't remember where I heard this, but like to, to get to these better areas, you know, I'm definitely still growing. It's, it's still, you know, I haven't even hit the three mark, three month mark, right? So, you know, I just look, I'm just looking forward to getting to that year, right? I'm appreciating every day though of the process. Um, I appreciate the growth. Like it's becoming fun. Growing is becoming fun. Um, and I haven't had that feeling for a long time. I always looked at it as work. I used to like reading books and after being on opiates for a few years, I like, 
books seem just like a lot of work to me. Like I don't want to do that now. I'm starting to read more too, um, and enjoy it, and and not even look at it as like work, but like something I get to do. Like growing, learning, reading books is is fun. Doing different things uh, is fun. You know, pushing myself uh, to to grow is fun, and it's like. I forgot all about that because I didn't have, I just lost seriously like all my discipline, you know, by just entertaining that pleasure center of the brain, right? And it's crazy how sloppy and how loose I got on life. Whew. But um, yeah, there was a point I was trying to get at with all that. Oh, yeah, like. Think of like a slingshot, right? Like before you launch the rock, you gotta pull it back, right? Same with a bow and arrow, right? If you're gonna shoot an arrow first, the arrow's gotta go backwards, but then it launches forward, you know? Like, so that's how I'm looking at it in, in my recovery journey. Like, yeah, quitting sucked. Having to like feel crappy, not being able to sleep for the first couple nights, feeling anxiety, feeling depression, just feeling weird emotions, sucked. So that literally, it got worse before it got better. But I tell you like freedom, not feeling like a slave to a substance, not having to mix green powder up every day, every few hours and just live, go anywhere. I can go anywhere and be sober and have everything I need. And that's just a blessing. You know, it's just a blessing that the only thing I need is God. That's it. And God's always with me. You know what I mean? So I don't have to worry about packing him up and putting him in a bag and, you know, and I don't, it's possible to kind of like forget about God though, but at the same time, he doesn't forget about you. He's always there, you know. He never turns our back on us. It's 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 me or us who turn our backs on him, you know. And so that's just the thing. It's like, yeah, things are going to get a little bit worse when we do quit, but they're going to get so much better than they've ever been. You know what I mean? Because God uses our addiction. He uses our, our foolishness and turns it into just beauty you know then we can share our testimony and and just help others you know what I mean like I'm thankful for the struggles I'm thankful I was addicted to alcohol I'm thankful I was addicted to weed I'm thankful I was addicted to Percocets I'm thankful for everything it sucked it was stupid but it all led up to the life like I'm living now right and I'll be able to look back and see and pull all the value out of the pain and the struggle and the dumb decisions I've made, you know? So, it kind of sounds weird, but I, I don't know, like I don't, I wouldn't change anything, I guess, you know? I, <laughs> I would, I think it's pretty stupid to, to do a lot of things I did, but I know it's all for a reason, right? As long as I, you know, get out of those vices that I'm in. So, I mean, God just has a way of turning trash into treasure, you know. And the way I was living was just complete garbage, <laughs> you know. And He's doing something with me. He wants to do something in all of us and for all of us. But we just got to step out and trust Him. And He's faithful. God is faithful. So... I just wanted to put that out there. I honestly didn't even know what I was going to say. I just had that urge to just make a video. So I'm like, alright. Let's just start. Let's hit the record. So, God bless you guys. Hope you had a good election day. Hope you went out and voted. I did. Just God bless you. Take care.